All right, y'all. Day one of Vlogmas 2023. Can she make it? I don't know. We'll see. This one is, it's probably one of the simplest things you can make for something for Christmas. Whether you put it in a goodie bag, whether you take it to the office party, whatever, any party, just to have them on hand. These are one of the ones I make uh, for gift bags and stuff. So anyway, I think you'll find that you're going to like this and see how easy it is. So, you know, whatever you do, just stick with me and watch it through to the end. Hey y'all, it's me, Hetty, and it is the first day of Vlogmas. Anyway, um, I'm going to see if I can get through Vlogmas this year. I usually never can. I do have a couple in the quote can made up ahead of time because y'all know I've been under the weather severely lately, quite severely, where I couldn't even make regular videos for y'all. All right, this is going to be short and sweet. If you're new to my channel, my, I always put my recipes in the description box below. And if you really like this video and it gets you out of a jam, like with something to take to the office party, something to take to any party, gift boxes, whatever. I'll throw in a couple of hints just because I've been doing this for so many years. My children are grown now and I've been making this stuff since before I had children. My oldest is 26 now. All right, look, this is just eight ounces of vanilla almond bark and eight ounces of chocolate. You can see I've already got them in a zip-up bag, but that's them. I just broke them off of there and chunked them up. You want to chunk them up. Why? Because you're going to also add in semi-sweet morsels. So this is just my old beat-up glass. It's a small batter bowl. And that way I can put this in the microwave. Sorry, I know I probably bumped that camera. It's an issue I'm, believe it or not, I'm working on, but I keep forgetting that I got to move it up to the priority list. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm just going to microwave this. So all you've got so far is I've got a rounded cup of semi-sweet morsels, uh, eight ounces. And if, you, like, you need to just read the back of your package, folks. It's called Common Sense. This has 24 ounces in it, okay? And there are 12 blocks in here. Well, that lets me know right away that by weight, I just need four of these blocks. Also, I've got about three cups, three rounded cups of roasted, salted, whole cashews. Whole, I have found, is better for this. If you're using, as a side note, if you're using unsalted cashews, you will want to add between a half up to a teaspoon of salt. If you want to, you can use milk chocolate. I've done all of the above. You can use dark chocolate. These are semi-sweet and you can use milk chocolate. So it just doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to put this in the microwave in 30 second intervals. I will be back and we'll go to the next step. Now mine took all of about maybe two minutes and 45 seconds and I, and don't be tempted to keep going because look the heat of the chocolate will melt the rest of the chocolate on its own so it's better to underdo sorry about keep bumping that camera it's driving me nuts um anyway as you can see this is just smooth as it can be the vanilla and the chocolate mix very well together and so this is about how easy it is boom i'm gonna put it in the cashews Move my glasses. <laughs> to save time, I'm going to just, I'm going to mix this. I'm going to get a different utensil, smaller one. Uh, the bottom of this batter bowl is just not to my liking. Also, I scoop it out. I don't, I'm not trying to exactly measure it, but I've got just a small cookie scoop. And I also... I have two cookie sheets. That's just chocolate on there. I have two cookie sheets. I sprayed just a little bit on the middle of the pan on the underside to hold that parchment paper in place so it doesn't slide around if I bump it while I'm trying to dump the cookies. Okay, I'll be back in two seconds. I switched. You want to be pretty quick. 
This is not time to be texting or taking a call, okay? You want your chocolate to stay nice and pliable while you're stirring in and stir them in well. Just kind of press in, come up under like a fold almost, press down, come around. Okay, and look, you can use two spoons or something like this. It doesn't matter. Nothing fancy here, guys. Nothing fancy. All right, I'm just switching and I'll give one more stir for luck. All right. Okay. Get some of him off. All right. I just use this to keep them. I don't like huge ones. You make them like you want to. But, you know, I've seen some. If you like them that big, that's okay. That's more of a patty. But these are just little bitty clusters. And, you know, if you're not careful... Your clusters won't fit in your gift box or whatever you're taking or if you're doing a platter of different little uh, sweets you know you want them to fit make room for other good stuff so anyway when I get this done I'll bring you back this in this simple I mean even if you don't even if you think you're Ellie Mae or your family thinks you're Ellie Mae you youngsters probably don't even know about Ellie Mae, do you? Ellie Mae clamp it? Google it. I'm not going to give it away. All right, I'm going to finish these, and I'll come back. This short and sweet for day one blockmas. I'll have some really good ones thrown in, but some of them are going to be short and sweet. I don't need to be in every one of them. Y'all know me. You know what I look like. And you know what? If you don't know what I look like, I'm sure you can find a video that I am in. All right, see y'all in a minute. Alrighty, y'all. Yeah, I got some ugly ones. I smeared some. Talking to one of my sons. And, of course, he said that's just quality control merchandise right there. So, anyway. Probably could have gotten them all on a half baking sheet. But I just did this for tonight. Let them sit for about 45 minutes to an hour on the cabinet. You don't have to do all that freezer stuff. If you want to, knock yourself out. It won't take them that long to set if you'll just leave them alone. And there y'all go. Quick and sweet. See what I did there? <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow in another video. I love y'all. Bye.